let you down. I don't wanna let you down. So I just got back from work. That's why my hair is a little messed up. But I got my second package today. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna unbox this right now. I have this package and I have this package. This package is an adjustable power supply. So I can use this to power the batteries and power a bunch of projects that I wanna prototype in the future. This box is a box of 15 laptop batteries that I bought for $70 on eBay. Some of them might be broken, some of them might not. This is this is really good stuff because, oh, I'm so excited. I've been a little bit obsessed with batteries recently just because the amount of stuff you can do with them. You can use them in like electric bikes and power your house. And I currently have 45 battery cells. Here's 12 right here, 12 18650 cells. There's also just the TV on the ground that I'm trying to take apart, but I, I haven't had time recently. Um, so I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this power supply for so long. Okay, stop talking. I always talk for too long, all right? Let's pick up this package. Sorry, I'm a mess right now. I literally got back from 11 hours of work and I'm very, uh, very sore. Damn, this is awesome. Damn, this is so exciting, bro. Are you guys excited? Man, it's stuck in here. Here we go, 10 amp, 30 volt, DC digital power supply. It's gonna be, it's gonna be sick. Come on, yeah. Power cable, it's got a handle on it. Oh, it's smaller than I thought. Sexy, sexy. Oh shit, 32 volts. Yeah, let's hope I don't kill myself. This will be our first one as a test. 2.47 volts. And that's actually pretty decent, right? These batteries shouldn't be below 2.5. And we're gonna just see what happens, you know? Power, ground. Let's hope the battery does not explode. Okay, so the current is still zero. It's at constant voltage. Oh, there's no connection. Whoa, it just went to like four volts or four amps. I'm just gonna turn the current all the way down, all right? If I slowly turn the current up. 210 milliamps. It's making a weird sound out the back. I'm just trying to give it a low current because I've never done this before and I don't want to blow anything up in this current point in time. I got duct taped wires held with magnets on the battery. Oh yeah, this, this is heavier than it looks. That means there are batteries in here. I was kind of skeptical. It looks like a small box. 15 laptop batteries. This is gonna take me all night. How does this box open? I'm very confused. Whoa, I was opening it on the wrong side. Oh yeah, 15 dead laptop batteries. If any of you guys have, um, <laughs> the first one I pull out, bad. Can you see that? Bad. Let's just see how bad it is. Even the seller knows it's bad. Okay, so these look like a uh, six cell maybe. There's a lot of um, Dell. Asus. Perfect. Six cells in there. This one's got a few cells. Maybe nine, nice. Oddly shaped one. Do I smell smoke? I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical about that thing. What else we got? One more? I have all of these packs. I'm gonna open them up and retrieve the cells from them and then uh, charge every single one like this. <laughs> so if you're ever wondering, how do you open up laptop battery packs? Well, I stick a knife in them. Yeah, it's not very high tech or anything like that. I try to go where the batteries are not and just kind of try and get... <sighs> just a disclaimer, I am nowhere near a professional. I am a beginner with electronics. I did some stuff in high school, gates, logic gates and stuff. We actually build stuff with like JK flip flops and whatnot. So my goal is that by doing these videos and by learning all this, I'm gonna learn it regardless. But if I show you guys my learning process, maybe you guys can learn something too or be inspired or something, you know? I don't know, does it make sense? I think it's a cool idea. So like all the things I wanna make, I can make videos about them. This is very dangerous. Do not use a knife like this at home. There we go. There's the battery pack. Six cells, they look like, does not say what they are, so they might be shit. I might have stabbed this one, yeah. What can you expect? Oh! Did you see that smoke? I might have shorted one of the batteries. How? I have no idea. 
gonna do. We have these six cells here. They don't look like they're Samsung, but regardless, they're still cells. So let's test the first one. Hey, 3.75, 3.74. 3.74. They all show 3.74. That means they still have some charge in them. But like, yeah, these batteries are decent. They passed test number one, but I'm gonna have to test the capacity, which is the real test. This is just the like, are they broken? Like, are they are they even batteries? Like, do they even ha hold electrons? I have to open. Ah, bad. Let's see if it's bad or not. Okay, I'm gonna play some music, do a time lapse of me opening this stuff. Oh wow, that opened easily. Pliers are recommended by me. <laughs> hey! We got some Samsungs. The other ones didn't even say a brand. 3.7, 3.7. These ones are better than my old laptop one. 3.7, 3.7. These are all 3.7. They're all the same, the exact same voltage. These batteries are good on the first check. 100 milliamps. It is now fully charged. I'm really tired right now. I'm like falling asleep. So I'm gonna go to bed because I gotta wake up in seven hours for work. First 18650 battery charge. I'm just gonna leave you there. It is a few days later now. It's Sunday and I have taken apart all the laptop batteries. Now I have a full desk full of batteries. Look at this. These batteries right here, these ones are the best original ones, meaning these ones are good brands like Samsung, LG. I have about 60 or 70 of them. I have an LG cell charging right now. It's almost done charging. 30-ish, 40 cells were good, but they're like cheap brands, like these knockoff cells that don't even say a brand on them and then 12 batteries i also found these really oddly shaped ones i guess they're like like they were in a pack with 18650 cells so it was very very weird these guys are like dead kind of but i'm gonna try reviving them most of them have a voltage under one volt so i'm not really planning on using them i'm just gonna see how fa how much i can get out of them these are 25 dead cells so they have battery acid leaking out of them some of them basically these are all either zero volts or battery acids leaking out of them and i don't i don't want <laughs> yeah if you look at my desk right now isn't that a success guys this is the first time i ever took apart laptop batteries really and tried to charge them. Like, it's really, really interesting because the batteries in all our electronics now, they just die out really quickly, but they don't actually die out. Like with laptops especially, even the ones that I bought had something written bad on them. And I found three of the cells were zero volts and the other three cells were good, like four volts. Like they were still, they still had a charge in them. I found about a hundred cells that are good, 25 that are dead. So, if you ask me, that's a pretty good deal for assuming that all those cells were were dead on me. All I did was a basic voltage test. So what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to charge them all up. Like this guy, I've charged up. Over here is my little charge pile. I've only done four. Charged four because I have to do it one by one. But I'm going to charge all of the batteries up. I'm going to test the capacity. And then I'm actually going to determine which ones are good or bad, right? But just from a basic test, voltmeter, right? You know, it's looking good. It's looking really good, actually. <laughs> I gotta take a picture of this. Oh, my desk looks so cool right now. 